Could you imagine being the other mom seeing <laughs> Eva Longoria pick up her child? This is really wild. I feel like I've been set up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Color to them. I think I just broke it. <laughs> Lies, tales, buffoonery. And There's... she's using words like finely milled. Who trained this woman? I know, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the worst thinking of something to start with? You're looking particularly gorgeous. Well, thank you. There's just something about the winter when you just gotta, you gotta do it for yourself. <laughs> you just gotta do it for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, what are we doing today? We're reacting to Eva Longoria's Vogue. How bad do you want to do one of those Vogues? Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I want to do one of them, but they're boots down nasty every time. Girl, they have undeserved cachet just because it's Vogue, but then like I click on the video and they're in their bathroom. They're like in their white vanity bathroom. And <laughs> yeah, they're just yeah, like, yeah. Mm, God, you know, yeah. like I don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was that. I became one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hated myself. No, but they're like doing it and they're like, oh, sorry, my dog just shit on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> like, and it, mind you, they're in the most beautiful bathroom too. And they're like, oh God, this place is a wreck, screaming yeah. for their maid. Yes. And I'm just like, what is happening here? I know, This I know. is wrong. I've kind of seen this just to chop it up. I haven't seen this at all. And I'm okay. very, it's going to be that one. <laughs> okay. I, can, I can already feel her putting on the show. All right, let's dive in and react to Eva Longoria. Hi, everybody. I'm Eva Longoria. Gloria. You probably don't recognize me without lashes and makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> you don't even know me. Yeah. Oh my God, who am I? Her Stranger. flawless face, like you don't recognize me. You don't me. recognize me, yeah. I'm a gremlin. This yeah. Is what I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I... I'm gonna do my everyday makeup look, which may be a lot for some of you guys because I'm Latina. I bet you it won't be a lot for some of us. <laughs> yeah, I bet fair. you you're yeah. gonna put on a little concealer and mascara. Yeah, coming from you. I am gonna start with my hyaluronic acid. I taught the world how to say hyaluronic. <laughs> We've talked about this. It's been nice. We, I'm gonna leave. Good to, good to know you. Yeah. yeah. We talked about it. Hi, yeah, that Hi, yeah, the I know, fact girl. that she even brought that serum into this, leave it alone. Paid. Paid. Absolutely paid. L'Oreal said, huh. And girl, yeah. let, let's be honest. And to be clear, we're not just doing this to be bitchy. We, I, I did this on my he's other- He's not doing it to yeah. be bitchy. <laughs> I, I'm the nice one. The Lady Gaga tutorial, and I really oh. thought it was like a great way to explain our take on like how she's doing her makeup and things we would do differently. So there is, there's gonna be education wrapped in this bitchiness, but as though someone of her age would just use a hyaluronic acid serum. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Girl, that's like drinking a glass of water. Like Eva Longoria, and then the eye, oh my God. Wait, just wait until you see, let me put it this way, the other skincare she uses. Proves that that was a product placement. The Olay Super Serum. Girl, just. <laughs> I use this Augustinus Bader face oil. Hyaluronic acid serum. And then we're jumping all the way up to a $300 anti-aging. Like, so you're not really using that hyaluronic acid serum. She's, she, and the bottle was half empty. You know, she poured it out <laughs> to make it look like she used it. Absolutely. She. There is no way, because if that thing was full, they would have clocked her. Girl. So she said, Whoop. hold on, <laughs> yeah. I couple that with the Augustinus Bader Rich Cream. I never tried that. Oh wait, yes I have. I'm yeah. thinking the oil still, because now I'm kind of intrigued. Yeah. I've used the Rich Cream and the cream from Augustinus Bader, and I love it. I was gonna say. It is, I'm, during the James. James, yes, 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 yes. We yes, were yes. talking about it. Way better than La Mer. Same price point as La Mer. Maybe okay. a little bit cheaper. Oh my God. If it wasn't, why is it $300? I know, it's Like insane. it is so, so ridiculous. No skincare should be that much. But you can't afford that if you then get the hyaluronic acid serum. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You gotta cut corners with can, where yeah. you can. I tend to have dry skin. I'm like normal to dry. Her skin is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. She has to have dry skin for her to use an oil under the foundation. <laughs> That's right. And then I use my Revitalift Eye Serum. I love this applicator because it has these little balls and they feel so good. You have that. <laughs> <laughs> Not on your under eyes. <laughs> As you get older, ladies, you have to prep your skin specifically your under eyes. Just okay, ladies preach. though. Yeah, just ladies, yeah. not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna start with my eyes while everything is cooking. And I like to start with a little Concealer on my eyelids. Girl! Not a primer. I'm Ooh. telling you. I don't like to powder a lot. I don't like to um, bake. Like, you know, the whole baking thing, that's not for me. Especially as you get 
over 40, all those fine lines, that powder just gets in those fine lines. Lies, tails, buffoonery. You don't have the right powder. You're using some Dusty Lore Mercier. Uh, girl, and you know what it eyes. is? I blame influencers yeah. for this because even the fact that she goes like, baking. it's synonymous with baking. And that's what I mean. Baking has ruined people with mature skin's perception of whether they yeah. can use powder or not. We always say if you use the NYX HD powder. The Makeup Forever. The Makeup Forever, yeah. like super finely milled, yeah. smoky looking powder. And also depending on the foundation and, okay, she put an oil. So imagine unset liquid on a face oil. I can't wait to, if she doesn't like powder, I cannot wait to see how this turns out. She should create like a, a makeup line and have everything be filled with like hyaluronic <laughs> acid. This is my jam right here. I use more of like a nudie brown. There's like a little sparkly one sometimes. I'll put that right on the brow bone. Okay. And then I'll go in with like, not too dark, but just like a transition color on my lid. Okay, but we're using the word transition color. Transition color means that it's blending into something else. She's packing it on the lid, mama. Yes. And it is gray. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I will say she does put it, it's all over the lid, but it is, it is in the transition. It's just as though, you know, when you do like a brown smoky, you yeah. do that as your transition and then bring it and down. listen, I got to give her credit too, because she, and this is something I always do, and I don't know how people do this. I always work from the top down. So I always work yes. from brow bone down. So when you go to blend, it actually blends powder to powder. Absolutely. You know? And she's using a MAC 217, so work mama. I wanted to, I knew you would know what it was before me. Yeah. I know, yes. I was gonna say, using yeah. that MAC brush. That's and the perfect transition brush. Can we clock what? it? That's the old 217. It's not 217S, so it's not synthetic. She has the old school MAC 217. Oh, wow. That's what you have too. You have like- Oh, mine so We old. have the OG 217s, which are yeah. the natural hair versus synthetic, which it just blends better. Oh God, yeah, it's rubbed the, off. Oh, it rubbed, yeah. the number rubbed off, yeah. yeah. You know these celebs got the hookup to oh, find the girl, OG. They're calling Mr. Mac. Yeah, yeah. totally. Barbara McIntyre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. But I have to say, like even the placement and the blend of that eyeshadow, like most people, I feel like you watch celebrities because you got to take it where the, who this is coming from, you know? What <clears> I mean? Gaga. Yeah, mm. like they put ninety <laughs> liquid eyeshadows on. It looks like Rocky Road <laughs> coming over those lids. Yeah, like I got to say, and it's even so far, a little so darker good. on the outside there. Did she I'm, wait? And she didn't touch her brows, right? She just no, put concealer. Not yet. Yeah. Wow, look at those brows. I know, I know. I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm gonna use this like, um, it's called Firecracker, but it's kind of like a bronzy, shimmery. It's so funny because when I got People Most Beautiful, my sisters were like, why? <laughs> Nothing like family to ground you. So she just said that shimmer is getting windshield wiper. Yeah, I don't love that we put the shimmer in the crease. With the blending brush. With the same one. There's no purposeful placement with the shadow. So like when you use a shimmer, flat brush, pack on, yes. softly diffuse an edge with a matte. Yes. <laughs> Stop yeah. using a like, blending brush with yeah. shimmer and then to pack windshield. on the lid. Because the thing about mature skin, like up in the crease transition area like that, it's gonna show the texture here. So you wanna keep the mattes higher and leave any shimmers a little bit lower. Yeah, that was okay. Strike one. <laughs> yeah. I am gonna go in with some brown eyeliner in here and I'm obsessed with Victoria Beckham's um, Satin Kajal Liner. This is in color Coco. So the saving grace for me with the eyes, because apparently we're done, is I do like that she brought that brown onto the lid. It'll look more cohesive in the end. Yeah, more smoky. Where I'm Simple. very curious to see because she is a woman of a certain age. Yes. And where sometimes we get a little foolish with eyeliner. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I see people get yeah. real foolish, so I'm very curious to see where she goes. And I like to put it in the lash line above. So I've just put it a little bit on the lash line, like really into the lashes. And then I'm gonna smudge it out with some eyeshadow powder. She was doing that like a pro. You know oh. she does this too often. In she the said, car, girl. She said, yeah. eyes open. I can't, I can't even do that. I can't do that. I have to, when I do my upper line, I literally have to hold oh, my girl. eye. And I'm Saw. like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> the full mechanism, you have 60 seconds yes. when you play a game. Yeah, and I'm you, like, <laughs> yeah, you have 60 seconds to do your tight line. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> get the key behind your eye. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> totally. Oh, no, that was that 
because, it. Okay, you know she's doing her own makeup because yeah. anybody that's not doing their own makeup all the time, like mm -hmm. Gaga, she's too good at knowing what pressure to apply to fully do that. She's doing this. And I gotta say, as far as like an everyday simple tutorial, like if any woman of her age or whatever was gonna watch this, the thing she's doing are simple. We had a two color eyeshadow. Yes, I would have liked if the shimmer was on the lid. Then to say to them, which we always say, make sure you're tight lining and she's like really get it in the lash line. And then what she said, I'm gonna smudge it out with an eyeshadow. That's music to my ears because it's like- You're not just leaving it. Exactly, yeah. very simple way to make it state many. I'm excited to see the eyes when they're done. I'm getting like one of this chocolate brown color with a really narrow brush. And I'm just moving that eyeliner out. Wow. Right? Okay. All yeah. right. All right. You can tell she does her makeup. I'm obsessed with my Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil. The point is so thin. It's so tiny that it looks like strokes of hair. What my makeup artist taught me was to like outline first. So you like outline everything and then you fill it in. Okay. I'm like thoroughly impressed. And I will say, I tried those Huda Beauty pencils. Yeah. They are criminally thin. Okay. Where you even like oh. bend it the wrong way and it's- Snap. snap. Yeah, no girl. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, crispy. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fact that she's taking tips from her makeup artist, which I appreciate that she says she has a makeup artist too, that she's taking tips from, not yes. just saying, I love when I do this. Like give the person credit that they taught you this. <laughs> yes, it's You nice. didn't teach yourself, mama. Mm -hmm. I love that though. And she's not like haphazardly just like filling no. in her brow. She's like, no, I'm gonna create this. I'm gonna under- this yeah. is probably the most like that's what I mean. She's detail hit. oriented yeah. tutorial from Vogue. Yeah, she's hitting the nail on the head. Wow. Look at that. Look at those brows. Girl, Gorgeous. girl, wow. look at that. And I'm sorry, even the eyes. She like almost winged out that like liner a little bit. And good for her for still having these eye patches on, not only for function to like anti-age, but function to catch eyeshadow. Absolutely. And like clean up the line a little bit and then she could go back in probably with concealer, clean up any lines, whatever. Totally. I, okay, I'm thoroughly impressed so far. Are you taking a turn? Yes. Okay. I'm like loving that. Well, yeah. hold on, it's still early. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll see. I'm really into tinted foundations right now that are like not so heavy. I'm having a skin moment. Like my skin looks pretty good lately. So I want it to show and breathe. Okay. Okay. I like that. First. I think I see what's in her hands and I'm not mad at that. Today I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown in Golden 3. I'm just going to put, look at me, it's just like a lotion. Okay. We're going to use our fingers. So look, it looks a little darker than it should. Don't be nervous. Her to say like, don't be worried that it's darker because it does match her neck and her hands. I was going to say. Mama, you know she going to highlight and contour. I'm like very... Right? Because I would do this with people sometimes. They, these are the kind of clients I would be like, okay, you got a spray tan, but not on your face. So it's three shades darker than your face. I have to bring that up and yeah. then we're gonna balance it out. And you like wouldn't let them look in the mirror because they'd be like, that's too dark for me. And I'm like, well, you got a spray tan, whatever. Yeah. And she clearly is darker on her body and that matches the body. But you, and for her to say, don't worry, it's cause you know she go highlight and contour. Hmm. I know. Infallible concealer and I put it right where I have the dark spots. And you want to put this anywhere you want to brighten. Put it a little bit here, a little bit here, but mostly there. We're doing this? She's like shocking me she, right is, now. I feel like I'm watching an influencer. I'm obsessed with this brush from IT Cosmetics. It's like the perfect like firmness. Not her taking that powder and she dusted it off on her arm. Who is she? I know. Okay, who's her makeup artist though? That's Absolutely. more of the question here because you are, this woman is educated yeah. and she said, I'm gonna tell you something about makeup. Mm -hmm. She is teaching everyone something today. I am so impressed, floored right now. I know. I will say she's gonna need more than hyaluronic acid eye cream for that L'Oreal concealer underneath those eyes because that is. <laughs> oh, she's using a lot of L'Oreal. Right now I'm using Mario in medium dark. I like to bronze up just the outside of my face. So I wanna look snatched. Is that what the, the kids are saying, guys? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like, <laughs> two things. One, I'm into her saying snatched and I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that application with that so brush. I mean Perfection. She's not, and you know what I like she's not doing that I feel like a lot of people fall victim to is that you're taking the product and drawing lines. Preach, she was stippling. She was stippling. I like, am so- Girlies, like you see me all the time on my tutorials using like this kind of a brush. This is my go-to because I like this more for foundation, but that's exactly what she's for cream. I'm so like, 
I know. I'm eating my words right now. I'm using the Mario cream blush. This one is just peachy. I like to put it just on the apple of my cheek. And also a makeup artist taught me when I was shooting, she puts it a little higher. Girl gooped and gagged. Like really high and it kind of lifts the, and then, you know, here is new right now. This whole like sunburn look. I don't like that look too much, but I, I oblige. Mama in between scenes is watching makeup tutorials. <laughs> there is something about her too, that when she is applying blush, you know, it is a thing for people to just to take that blush and go across. Oh girl, yeah. And she's acknowledging that yes, you may like it, but it's not for it's me. It's not for me. She's not going across her forehead with it. Like I'm really, I was expecting finger applications of everything, lines, and totally. then blending it all in one shot. Yeah. She has, she is really like yeah. doing the damn thing. Even the technique of the stippling and the way she's doing everything to not move the base underneath, then it's like. This is really. Wild. I feel like I've been set up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. This is coming out so well. I am gonna put a little highlighter here. All right, the other amazing product I love from Victoria Beckham is her bronzer. I like to set my cream bronze with the powder bronze. Okay, how do you feel about setting wet stuff with colored powder? I am never a fan of this. I always like to set first with like translucent. Yes. I always set those areas and then reinforce with color. Absolutely. Because, so for those of you who don't know, and like anybody that's ever asked me for help in my whole career, when I set people's foundation, even back in the day with like liquid foundations and powder foundations, so like one size, like when you see like tinted powders that have color to them, <laughs> I think I just broke it. <laughs> Did you? No. Oh. We're good. No. So typically, like even looking at like Johnny's face with this powder, this is gonna be a little bit lighter. If I were doing someone's makeup, I would always say to them, I'm like, yes, this powder looks lighter, but putting pigment over pigment, you're gonna darken the powder pigment so much over liquid foundation. Yeah. It's gonna turn that powder two to three shades darker than you think. So when you go two to three shades lighter, uh -huh. you're gonna get the right color and it's gonna match your base correctly. As long as you have the right color, down first, the powder will match if it's two to three yeah. shades lighter. And right. I think when you're going in with powder on top of unset liquid, it's going to cling to mm. the powder in different ways, where if it's a translucent, it doesn't matter because yeah. you don't see it. So that's what's setting everything mm. to give you almost that veil of powder. So all your other powders blend out easier, but I just don't like going in with like a powder bronzer or blush on top of wetness because it's gonna cling and then what are you gonna do? Yeah. Like you can only blend it out so much. And you're right, it's also gonna make it look darker because yes. you're combining two colors without a layer of powder in between. Yeah. It. Yeah. And I, but you know what? I gotta give her credit where credit is due mm -hmm. because here she's using a fluffy brush. Shut up. I was just and gonna say the, the way she is softly pouncing this into the skin, she's just softly patting this over. Yeah. She is not. Rate Gaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carving a uh, Christmas ham. That's gonna be her in the Joker movie, putting on <laughs> yeah. her makeup like. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yes, I you was just... gonna say, the lightness and the airiness of that brush, this is a little bigger, but the lightness of that is not packing this on. No, you could tell it's almost, she has this featherweight touch about it too, where she's setting it into like her, over the cream, which makes me nervous, but you could tell already, it's not making her look muddy in the cheek. That's a light color bronzer too. So I was gonna say, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here, I don't know for sure because I've never used Victoria Beckham, but I would always almost put money on it. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going to say. Those kinds of brands, the Victoria Beckham Beauty, you know that bronzer is so hard pressed in yeah. there that when she dips in, yeah. there's almost nothing. It's there's almost no like using an hourglass powder. There's you no know? pigment back. Absolutely. It's not, it's not this, a powder that you dip in. And it's, and it's everywhere. Coated. Coated. It, you know that is such a firmly pressed powder that she's barely getting any. Which, to her point, credit. I'm shocked that A, the color, it's a dual color and it looks like she's taking the warmer one and maybe mm -hmm. mixing it. But then to know to like take a fluffier brush and she really isn't like making any mistakes so far. No. Which she's like, this is coming out good. Like, girl, have more faith. I You're know. an amazing job. They've chosen to do this video before I'm picking up my son from school. So I am gonna show up as the hottest mom out there. Again, I use so many blushes. Today I'm gonna use this Hot Mama. RMS Beauty, tinted unpowder. That's what she calls it, the unpowder. Cause it's not powdery, but it sets everything in like the most beautiful way. It's so finely milled. So we are setting the makeup. 
With a finely milled pat. Why couldn't you just say that? But see, and that's what I mean. So she, A, okay, we're getting a strike and a point here. The point for setting it in general and using the right powder, finely milled, but don't start out by saying, I don't like to use powder because- Because yes, you do. Bakey, bakey, bake. No, you're not baking. And There's, she's using words like finely milled. Who trained this woman? I know, girl. Yeah, she has a part-time <laughs> job at Mac. I am, a, I mean, it's like, it just goes poof. So you, I wish you could see that. So I'm gonna put it here. I think she's watching your tutorials. <laughs> girl, I'm, she's eating. Like, she is really, she said the pepper goes poof. I know. Like she, who is she, you? Yeah. That is really, like she is really out here teaching everyone about We're cosmetics. <laughs> I love a good lip liner and I ask a lot of my lip liners. I need it to be creamy, but like stay in place, long wearing, but not chalky. My lip liner of choice right now is Victoria Beckham in shade number five. I'm kind of mush it. Cut to you buying Victoria Beckham like number five lip liner <laughs> underneath the table. This is a uh, 815 ginger spice. And then I'm gonna do toasted almond in the center. Not only the lip liner feathering in, then the lip, but then to- In the middle. Who is she? Eva Longoria, who are wow. you? Now, you could do mascara and be done or you can put lashes. Life is more fun with lashes. So my makeup artist, she introduced me to Lashify, a lash extension system that you can do at home. Oh boy. Have you used like, it's an L MLM. <laughs> like, like my makeup artist introduced me to it. She was like, yeah. use my coder. That's what I mean, yeah, stacked. an MLM. Yeah. Like I'm scared. I'm gonna use C10 and C12. So I like to um, go short here and then longer in the top. I'm gooning. The fact that she's about to do individual lashes Girl. and not just throw on a strip lash. Like little clusters, like the kiss. Yeah. And you pick it up and you push your thing back and put it on like that. And then you smash him down. Not her doing this flawlessly. I'm... She put those lashes on in seconds. I know. And you know the thing obviously about makeup tutorials is the time is deceiving because you don't know how long it took them. Right. I'm convinced she did this in 15 minutes. Like because of the application. She's... Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. <laughs> <laughs> my last touch uh, for the makeup is a gloss. I'm just gonna put right in the center right here. And I love this Fenty Glow. She has great glosses. This is my Victoria Beckham Portofino. All right, she has stock in Victoria Beckham. Somebody sponsored this. Totally. Victoria Beckham. All right, I have to go pick up my son. Look and fly. All the moms are gonna be jealous. <laughs> Thank you for being with me today. Look, I, words are being eaten. Look at her. She, and the fact that she said, I have to go pick up my son, all the moms are gonna be jealous. Could you imagine being the other mom <laughs> seeing Eva Longoria pick up her child? Yes. And just being like raggedy. I would have a bun and just be I like. know. It's just so funny to me because it's like perception of like what I give her so much credit for, like you said, is how many other celebrities have amazing makeup artists and continue to say like, oh, I could never. But it's about taking an interest in it. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. not that difficult in the sense that like, look how simple she made it look. Like she really, and she great teacher too, like yeah. how she broke it down, but it's about taking an interest in it. And I give her so much credit for obviously learning as she's getting her makeup done. And you talk about perception because I guarantee you another person in her son's school is probably gonna look at her and be like, oh, she got her fucking makeup done, like a makeup artist. But like she did it herself because she was interested. You know what I mean? I am really, yeah. Like she really was out here giving everybody a run for their money. Cause yeah. even me, I was thinking, I was like, oh, she is not gonna be doing the damn thing by herself. This is probably the most educational celebrity thing I've ever Tutorial. seen. Tutorial, yeah, because she was so matter of fact about everything. She's like, oh, this is great, this is great, I love this, and I'll put yeah. this here. Everything was perfect. I mean, the end result is so flawless and beautiful. And you know what I also love? This isn't like uh, Kendall Jenner using a chapstick and a mascara. Like, mama is painted. You know what I mean? Yeah, Like, she yeah. is painted. And that everything is so, it works for her. You could tell she does makeup and she like you said she yeah. has an interest in this she took interest and wanted to learn this was exquisite like she i would literally recommend watching this tutorial if you want to like get into makeup and absolutely like, color choices of course you're gonna fluctuate your yeah like, what's gonna work for your tone but talk about somebody that knows 
her skin tone, especially with that Bobby Brown. Girl. She said, trust the process. Yes, she did. She goes, you, you're not going to tell me anything about yes. this today. I'm going to tell you. The only thing I would recommend if you have mature skin and watching this tutorial, she really did nail it for that. But do not use that L'Oreal concealer. Dear God, do not use that L'Oreal concealer. She is really thick and heavy. Eva Longoria, come teach me makeup in my house. Let us know what you think of this video and any other celebrity makeup or skincare routines you want us to react to. Even yes. if they're older, we'll do it anyway. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Channel. We have a new podcast episode out every single Sunday with exclusive content during the week. You don't want to miss it wherever you are. We hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. And remember, you are beautiful. Bye. Bye.